what do we do with threaded work when the activity that kicked it off is no longer alive? I'm Doug Stevenson, and this is the exact issue solved by loaders. By now, you've seen that activities in your application can be created and destroyed at any time, either in response to the user or because Android needed the resources. This poses a problem for your threaded work, since the work may extend beyond the lifetime of the activity. Say you have a thread chugging away at some work, and that thread holds references to views that will update upon completion. If the activity ends before the work is complete, a few things will happen. First, because of the strong references to the views, the activity object will be kept in memory until the work finally finishes. This is a memory leak, and we don't have to tell you this is bad, since it can cause your app to run out of memory and eventually crash. Second, the late updates to these views are wasted because they're no longer visible. And third, you might have to repeat the work for a whole new set of views. To get your threaded work to correctly cope with the activity lifecycle and avoid these problems, you should use loaders. Loaders are wise to the inner workings of the activity lifecycle, so you can, you can ensure your work ends in the right place every time. A properly implemented loader is resistant to activity leaks, always updates the correct views, and is never repeated unnecessarily. Let's take a look at how this works. Instead of kicking off your work in an async task or some other thread you control, you ask the activity for an instance of a loader manager. Send the work to the loader manager, and it will make sure that your work may be handled properly in the face of uh, configuration changes for that activity. The loader manager also caches the work results so that it won't be repeated with future changes. Now, what if an activity with an active loader is being popped off the stack never to return? What happens to this in-flight work? In this case, the loader manager makes a callback into your code saying that its results will never be used. You can use this callback to abort the work, clean up, and move on without wasting any more resources. Now, it's worth noting that loaders are specific to activities and, as such, give you a solid framework for separating your views from your worker threads and minimize the amount of work you would otherwise have to repeat with the activity lifecycle. The downside of loaders is that can be quite a bit of extra code to get them correctly integrated into your app. So to help you get started, we've provided some sample code illustrating some common use cases. And for more information on improving your application performance, keep watching the Android Performance Patterns videos. And don't forget to join the G community for advice from other great engineers. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.